I came across Gurdjieff the first time when I was a teenager. My mother gave me a book about his philosophies and teachings. He was a spiritual teacher in the early and first half of the 20th century and my mother was into all sorts of mystic and esoteric philosophies. So I didn't realize at the time that he was also interested in music and movement and that he had composed or devised is almost a better word for his style of writing hundreds of melodies that he would later on dictate to one of his students, Thomas de Hartmann, who was a well-known Russian composer at the time. They worked together for about 10 years, from about 1917 to 1927, during which Gurdjieff dictated either by strumming or plucking on the guitar or playing with the one-finger technique on a harmonium to Thomas de Hartmann. Hartmann jotted things down and later arranged these pieces for the piano in a very minimalist style. One of the um, things that Gurdjieff told Hartmann was, don't make it complicated, make it so simple that even an idiot can understand this music. And that is um, probably why the music works so well on the guitar. Because over transcribing, over arranging piano music for the guitar often is a challenge. Because of course on the guitar we have fewer fingers and fewer strings to work with, so um, simple is best. I tried to transcribe Gurdjieff's piano music for the guitar for many years, and because my main focus as a musician had been for decades the classical guitar, I found that the classical guitar actually did not lend itself as well to transcribing this music because it had too short a tone. The sustain of the note wasn't long enough to capture the singing style of the piano and the singing style of the composition. So when I almost by chance started working on an electric steel string guitar, I all of a sudden realized how the sustain of the note became much more singing and much more um, cantabile, as we say in musical terms. Also, the dynamic and colors of the electric guitar with possible palm mutes and the whammy bar that I use on my Gretsch guitar actually added an element and a depth to this music that um, the classical guitar couldn't have captured. I'm very happy to be working with the Swedish label BIS with this project. The first CD I'm doing for them and possibly and hopefully not the last and this is going to be a wonderful adventure to see how this music now will find its place in the marketplace.